Hi everybody, it's Carleen the Pink Scrapper and I want to show you a super technique that I learned um, using Tim Holtz paint daubers and today we're going to be using the aqua the stamp we're going to use is the repositionable rubber stamp by Hero Arts and this is the poppy background and then we're going to use Tim Holtz Distress Ink called Brushed Corduroy and then for my glue, I'm using Glossy Accents by Ranger. Okay, so you're going to love this technique because it's so easy. So I'm going to position my stamp in the corner so that I can kind of keep track and keep it straight. And I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to stamp onto here twice, but... Um, if you're using this as the front of the card, it's going to be easy for you because I'm going to show you how to, how to line it up. Okay, so I've got my stamp and I've got my ink dauber. And if you get a brand new one of these, there is a valve in there that you have to depress to get it started. Um, but it's super easy. So I line this on the corner and... On my paint, I'm going to wait to do the flowers because this paint will dry very quickly. And one, one tip about this technique is you can't rub it like this because you'll get streaks. And when you stamp it, you will see those streaks. So you do have to dab it like I'm doing. And this gives you a great vintage look. Now, uh, you can change the color of your ink dauber and get beautiful results. One of the things about these daubers is it's also acid free. And so if you watch my videos you'll know that I love Tim Holtz and I have a lot of his products and I do a lot of techniques with them. Okay so now I'm going in and snapping the inside of the flowers because those lines are super fine and I don't I want them to show up on the card and my advice is to clean your stamps after each um, each step because you wanna once you stamp it you can't see where the paint is so I'm going to corner this into or put this in the corner and then put some, I'm standing up, so I'm putting some good pressure on this stamp. And there's the first one, but I'm going to, I'm not going to waste this paint, I'm going to stamp it again. So you can decide which side you like. I like them both. I'm going to keep them both. But for today, I think we're going to use this one. Okay, and you can see, because I aligned it in the corner, I could easily fold this card like that. And then stamp a saying in the bottom there. So, this is going to take some time to dry. This one's going to dry dry faster because there's not a lot of paint. This one I would say takes about 10 minutes but we're not going to wait. Um, I have one already prepared and cut out so I'm going to put this on the side and the one thing is that you are going to need a toothbrush like this one, an old one and the great thing about the cling mounts is that you can take this I put it under the faucet and I scrub all the paint out so I'll go ahead and do that okay so actually the one I have prepared is the lighter stamped one so I have it cut I rounded the corners to give it kind of a, a vintage look you don't want to have sharp corners on this 
and this paper is by Basil. It's in my, um, it's in an assorted paper pack. And then the glue I'm using is glossy accents. So, and then this is just from Basil as well, and it's a cream colored cardstock. Okay, I'm going to press that down. And this week's theme is clean and simple. And I've got some glue on the sides. So I'm just going to wipe that up. And I'm just using a little baby wipe. Okay, so now um, the thing that I'm going to use is Tim Holtz. And it says, let me take it off real fast. Oops. To be that all that is possible, we must attempt the impossible. To be all that we can be, we must dream of being more. I really like that saying. So I'm going to put that back on there. And then the ink is distressed ink called brushed corduroy. I'm just going to ink that up. And I'm going to put this right on the side here. Put some good pressure on that. And my card is done. And this week's theme is clean and simple. And I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.